What's up, Crow Nation? This is Kyle McGrath here in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia, the birthplace of Cronum. We're here at the Philadelphia Phillies Boston Red Sox game to talk to a few fans here in the parking lot, get the reaction, and see what they think about Cronum. You know, these Philly fans are crazy, so you never know what they're going to say. That is badass. <laughs> in a hundred years, there hasn't been a, a legitimate field sport. Uh, you know, uh, invented this. So would you say that Corona might have the potential to be that, that next sport that could be a new field sport that, that's prevalent? It's possible, yeah. I mean, I'm not a fan of soccer whatsoever, and this looks a lot more exciting than soccer. I mean, you have, uh, you know, one nothing games in soccer, and people go crazy. I mean, I couldn't imagine the excitement that this game would bring. If you could think of any professional athlete off the top of your head that you right away you saw Corona and be like, oh, this person would be awesome at, what would you say? Oh, wow, that's a good question. Um, probably Iverson. Yes, I thought the same thing. All American in football, all American in basketball, dude. He was the amazing handle. He was a quarterback. I think he'd be amazing at it. I said the same thing. After seeing Cronum right away, name an athlete off the top of your head that you think that would be really good at Cronum, a professional athlete. Sean Considine. Remember him? Soccer player, probably. Can you name one? I don't know soccer. You could. You didn't even know David Beckham, dude. David Beckham. No. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Phil Cavalcani live here in South Philadelphia at the Phillies tailgate. We're showing people Cronum videos on what our new sport is all about. What's your first impression of it, Eric? It looks awesome. It looks like a good mashup between different sports. Uh, just a bunch of athletic guys going out there, smashing into each other, giving it their all to score some goals. You hear local sports radio, and you know those fans, although they're fans, have a lot of real impact and they say stuff like oh that makes sense so i think right. if the fans really could have a big impact and that the owners or the league listen to some of the the input from fans it'd be a great thing yeah that's true you hear people calling in 6 10 on monday oh, morning yeah. <laughs> saying they would have done this yeah, andy reed should have done this so yeah. that's what we're doing with the with the chronum leg and giving it over to the fans I would like to see uh, a Ryan Howard running down that field with a Cronin ball. Ryan Howard would be scary running down the field with a Cronin ball. I would like to see my man Chase running down the field with a Cronin ball. Chase is a handsome man. I'd like to see him on there too. Uh, I think this could get pretty big. Yeah, I definitely think that uh, you should try and get ESPN to pick you guys up. I think that would be entertaining. I'd love that. <laughs> what do you like about being a Philly sports fan and what do you like about being a Boston sports fan? I like being let down. <laughs> let down? <laughs> oh, it goes with the let down card. If you girls had one superpower, what would it be? Invisible. I'd be invisible. To heal the world. <laughs> superpower. Mm -hmm. See through clothes. See through clothes and invisibility. I like both of those, frankly. <laughs> Any superpower in that game or just a superpower in general? In general. In general? I like to be able to fly, man. Who doesn't want to fly? Cronum, flight, I think it would be a huge, huge mashup. We need a flying Cronum. <laughs> All three Cronum. One, two, three. Cronum!